Hi, it's Caroline Cousins, www.transformationalenergyexpert.com. Very often we follow a course of action and we get to a place where what should be a success turns out to be a bit of a failure or we find that we sabotage something at the last moment. And if you check your beliefs when this is the case, you may find that you're running uh, life is pointless or there's no point there's no point in doing this because it's only going to end up in failure and that is often manifesting in the way of laziness as well so we can think of ourselves as being lazy we may not pick things up off the floor we may not do the washing up every single night and that is because we're running usually those beliefs of well, what's the point what's the point of doing it so somewhere in our childhood we've develop this behavior or this course of action that says well if I go along and start doing that it's only going to end up in failure or it's not going to be noticed so what's the point of me going along that route in the first place and then we've got stuck in that behavior and we've reinforced it again and again and again. Now if we check through muscle testing, we check to see if we're running that behavior. If you recognize there are some sabotage programs running or some failure programs running or some laziness programs running, if you actually muscle test, if you look at one of my other videos on muscle testing and you can see that I'm running, you know, uh, life is pointless or life is worth living, no, and you're falling backwards to that then you know then that you are, you know, this is where those laziness or failure behaviors are coming from. Life being pointless never comes on its own or life's not worth living or it's, there's no point in doing that. The whole what's the point behavior, you know, it's never, never comes on its own. It brings its mates along with it. So you'll always find that failure comes with it because at some point in time, that child has said, well, there's no point in going down that course of action because it didn't, a, get noticed, B, I didn't get any love for it, C, maybe I got punished for it, or D, maybe it ended up in failure. So, so then that child starts to believe that they failed in some way. They failed somebody, or they failed themselves, or they failed at a particular task, so they feel a failure. But that doesn't, again, happen on its own. There are other belief systems that come with it. So we then, if we then start to believe ourselves as a child of being a failure or feeling that we failed someone, then we start rejecting ourselves. We start rejecting ourselves for who we are because we start feeling a failure. So what's the point of going through this? So I start rejecting me. I start rejecting who I am. So muscle test yourself to see if you're running that as well. Some aspects of me reject me, yes or no. And when we're rejecting ourselves, we are rejecting that very essence that, that divinity within us of who we are. So we start rejecting life. So you can see how this chain of events starts going on. So we start rejecting life, uh, rejecting life as it is. So again, we, we go through that process of, well, there's no point in doing that. So what's the point of living? Because I'm already a failure. You know, I'm not getting the attention I need. I'm failing at everything I'm doing. So I'm rejecting me. So I'm rejecting life as well. I'm rejecting that vitality that's within me. I'm rejecting that essence within me. Now, as a result of rejecting that life or rejecting life, our energy starts to pull in instead of going out. You know, it should be constantly expanding, going out. Your energy is always expanding, going out. But when we're rejecting life, what we're kind of doing is pulling that energy in. And if we're pulling that energy in, that manifests as depression. So depression is a symptom, it's not a cause, okay. So, so we, we then start running the beliefs and you can test to see if you've been running, you know, I'm depressed because I'm not getting that full enjoyment, enjoyment out of life. So if you test yourself, muscle test yourself, you might find that you're also running, I feel depressed uh, as well because we're putting that energy in. So all of those behaviors, all of those belief systems all come together as a bundle. They don't come on their own. So life is pointless, you know, it's not worth living, what's the point, failure, rejecting life, rejecting me and depression all come together. So if you find that you're going through life and there's just something not quite working there, you just can't seem to quite get to it, check any of those beliefs to see if you're running. If one of them is, uh, is running, the chances are all of them are running because they tend to come together. Um, there and it happens from an incident usually somewhere in childhood or inherited through the genes or inherited through your energy systems from other from other lifetimes uh, check on those then then it's about going through that process of 
consciously recognizing them and you know feeling maybe that blocked feeling that set it off in the first place or just changing those beliefs sometimes just changing those beliefs is enough at a subconscious level letting them go and i'll do another video on that as well how to change your subconscious beliefs shortly so that'll give you some food for thought and um, maybe some recognition of where you may be sabotaging where you may have those lazy habits from or where where you feel that you're not actually getting enough joy out of life from so test yourself on those and see if you notice that you're running any of those and then you can start to uh, let them go and start enjoying life i hope okay hope that helps